All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are Real Time. Today, we got the season one finale of Wednesday. This one's called A Murder of Woes. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, too. Yeah, Last episode, got some wild stuff at the end there. Wednesday resumed her kiss that got interrupted prior in the episode with Tyler and got a vision. And she got a vision of him over top of a bloody Kim body. Yeah. Oh, after, oh, after he just got finished murdering her. <sighs> Forced to murder her. Yeah, he was forced to murder her we were assuming because we got the whole explanation of like the hides uh there's the hide itself who is a person who transforms into a hide and then there's also a master who we think controls the hide like we don't i'm not sure if like if tyler is the hide if he can remember everything that happened or if the master can just like completely erase the memory make it seem like nothing ever did actually happen because i feel like that would change a whole lot or like that would determine how I feel about yeah. Tyler. Like if he's known about this the whole time and just hasn't said anything, like that's super messed up, but. And if the master thing is real, that means the master does not want uh, Wednesday dead either. Exactly, or or that could just be like Tyler's inner Instincts. self <laughs> fighting against the yeah. monster because he actually likes Wednesday. But speaking of them, they went on like a, a cute little date into a crypt. Yeah. It honestly was a good date idea. Was, I gotta it give smart. it to Tyler. He freaking kissed her. For, for for trying to, you know, be dating Wednesday. Like I think a picnic in a crypt is a pretty good idea. Um, watching Legally Blonde though, don't know if that was her favorite movie. That is a horror but, movie to her. <laughs> yeah, probably. That was probably terrifying for her. They freaking kissed though at the end. Freaking Wednesday kissed got a kiss out. i just didn't and that's yeah that's what triggered the the flashback i never thought that could ever happen didn't expect her wednesday to do that. kissing a boy no way wednesday was kind of like accusing a bunch of people everybody episode. everybody yeah. she could see she put x into the into the jail like the he's Xavier. not X. Yeah, we've never called him X. Before. We put X in the X. jail I never mean, once. I called him X last episode a couple times. Never once. But Xavier is in jail and he's innocent. Like he's, I mean, he did look the most obvious. That's why I never thought it was actually him. I never had even like any suspicion that it was gonna be him. Yeah, I was kind of fooled. I, I was going back and forth. Like, is it Tyler? Is it Xavier? It could be I one of these. Kept telling you guys, boys, it's not know. Xavier. It's not Xavier. Ooh. I just don't know why he sees the monster though so vividly. He's an artist. Maybe. I don't know. It's that's that's really confusing. He's having like these nightmares about him. Like he's like linked to it. Somehow. Yeah, somehow linked. To I it. think he might be the master. He's making Tyler do these things, for, like revenge for. I could see that Loki, because he has this huge grudge against Tyler. Maybe he's making Tyler become a monster. So it's the finale and. I just want to know what we are going to learn. Like, I hope we learn everything this Dude, episode. Dude, I don't want it to be a cliffhanger ending. I really don't. I feel like it can't be because there was like a, a it was questionable if there'd be a season two. Like, people weren't sure. So, well, I think we're like the main question here is, are we gonna see cracks down? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've been so caught up in the monster biz that we have not even actually heard about cracks in the last two couple episodes. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we need to see that that vision or that picture like yeah. come to fruition. Like they, that's been like one of the main plot lines since the beginning of the season. But I really, really want them to like have a cohesive ending this yeah. episode, and, like wrap up all the storylines and For like, sure. like we said last episode, we know that there's going to be a season two, and I honestly would really prefer it if like we just get a new story in season two, like second year at school, like completely fresh slate i would prefer that but i mean i'm sure whatever they do it's gonna be good but i would really like to know who this monster is i yeah. really want to know we know who it is it's tyler the master you mean but what if, oh yeah i need to know the master but what if it's <laughs> yeah. not tyler and what if the vision was wrong that's because right. her emotions were being getting in the way all right guys that's pretty much it though before we get into this one if you guys have enjoyed all of our wednesday reactions make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe over 81 percent of you guys are currently not subscribed so please hit that button it helps out a ton we really really appreciate that also check out all the links we got in our description our patreon our discord and our social medias then at the very bottom of the description is the address to our po box if you guys want to send us something to be opened up on our series mail time on the channel like everything you see behind us right now make sure to do that but yeah let's get into it the season one finale of wednesday a murder of woes let's go what is she doing here xavier warned me about you but i didn't listen 
ironic now, huh? Ironic would have been framing Xavier for murder while the real oh. Ohio put him away. You're not talking about me, are you? Kinbot probably discovered your secret during one of your sessions, so she unlocked you. Why'd you kill her? I thought hides were typically loyal to their masters. I feel like she's just so wrong about everything. Do you know how insane you sound right now? I'm not a monster. And if you really thought that I was, why would you risk bringing me out to the woods to confront me alone? Uh-oh. You said I was alone. Oh, we got everybody here. The Enid? Never, the Nevermore squad. Not even Enid, though. I only know two of their names. I think Enid's there. Okay, Ajax is here. Sick joke you're playing, Wednesday. I'm out of here. Actually, you're not. Oh, oh. siren song. Oh. Uh oh. This is illegal. Good napping. I hide napping. <laughs> Wednesday, this is crazy. I'm a normie. That's only half true. Do you recognize her? Oh, that's his mom. Uh oh. My mom was an outcast. It doesn't make me a monster. According to her personal medical records. Wait, you stole her medical records? Uh -oh. Technically, Thing did. Her postpartum depression triggered her condition. Ah, oh, this is a little messed up. Are you really all just gonna stand there and let her do this to me? Uh, guys, Ina just texted. Thornhill suspicious. How long until he morphs into that thing? I feel bad for him, Hannah. Lindsay, what are you doing? Just some light torture. Don't worry, I won't leave a mark. There's only one thing that a hide understands. Pain. Oh my god, when she's not day. messing around. Bro. Oh my. She means business here. I feel bad for Tyler. Don't, don't, don't leave me here with her, please. I'm begging you, please. Oh, Wednesday. What's that? Tasers? She's gonna duel to taser him? Hey, Wednesday's torturing your son right now. Let's test your reflexes. I'm in here. Get away from my son. Oh my god, Wednesday. Yeah, she looks like she is about to murder him, bro. I mean, arrested for sure, right? Sheriff Galpin isn't pressing kidnapping charges, which is a miracle given the circumstances. Of course he's not. How long have you known? That had to have been Principal Weems' classmate then. Yeah. Xavier Thorpe is our hide. We've got evidence thanks to you, and that's why I'm giving you one last pass. Tyler is going to turn on you, too. Let's go! Xavier's not the hide, bro. What do you want? Ask a question. What does it feel like? What does what feel like? To yep. lose. He's the bad guy. Uh-oh. Now first, I wait Oh my god. Naked. Yep, he's just spilling the beans. No idea what happened. I started to remember. Wait, I'm so confused. What's going on? He's just admitting to everything. That's wild. No what was idea. that? I feel like that wasn't him that grabbed her. Never mind. Bro, what? Surely someone saw that. He just confessed everything. She has to be so pissed. I feel like it wasn't him. What? Your actions have put me and the school in an impossible position. Tyler is the hide. And he has framed Xavier. He confessed everything to me. It literally just happened. Like, that is so fucked. Well, then give me more time and I can prove to you that they are hides. There is no more time and there are no more deals Wednesday. No! He is kicked out. The afternoon train tomorrow. We need Xavier's help somehow. We need Enid. And Enid. And Thing. And Eugene. Maybe Thor now. What are you doing here? I know you're not the hide. Tyler used me to frame you. He is the actual hide. How do you know? He saw it in a vision when he kissed me. Oh. Uh, heartbroken. I should have believed you. But since you seem to have some sort of psychic connection to the hide, I was curious to know if you've drawn anything recently that might shed some light on the you situation. You want my help. Kissed him. And she's the reason he's here. You ruined my life. No. I tried being your friend. He did. This isn't about us, Savior. No, it's about you. Every time you get involved, people get hurt. You're toxic. All you ever do is make things worse. Hmm. He's trying to make things better, though, but indirectly definitely does do that. Do you want to stop this? Then leave. Go far away and never come back. 
That can't happen if you're not here. That's how you save everyone, okay? No, but then everything's just gonna get destroyed if Wednesday's not here, I think. Dude, he is tied up, bro. I think he's a monster. <laughs> That's true. Will you forget about me? Enid, the mark you have left on me is indelible. Anytime I grow nauseous at the sight of a rainbow, I hear a pop song that makes my ears bleed. I'll think of you. Thanks. I guess. Yeah, yeah. The best, really you're nice. get, best you're getting out of her. This prophecy cannot come true if I'm not here. But it kills me to leave when Tyler is still walking around free. If he tries anything, we have a school full of gorgons, vampires, and werewolves. Ready and waiting. You've got this Wednesday, I promise. That monster's pretty scary, man. Pretty big, pretty strong. I got a text from Eugene's mom. He woke up last night. Oh, oh thank goodness. Let me see Eugene. I'm so glad I caught you. I was weeding my wolf spain and I just completely lost track of time. This is a parting gift. He's like happy. I don't trust you, Thornhill. Wednesday. Eugene. Glad to see you're finally awake. I heard you visited me all the time. Don't ever mention it again. <laughs> Someone set fire to that cave. Yes. Dr. Kimbot. No. It's so crazy that it was her. Was it? I don't really remember any of it. I just saw someone wearing black and those boots. Boots. That's what Thornhill wears. Thornhill. Just for a moment. Thornhill. I thought that they weren't black. They were red. That's Thornhill's boots. Thornhill. They were muddy. Knew it. Thornhill. Thornhill. It has to be her because if it wasn't her, then she'd be irrelevant in this show. Yeah. <laughs> Completely pointless. What is that's nightshade poisoning? Yes. Yes. My name is Jeff. Oh. I thought you'd be halfway to New Jersey by now. You can drop the act, Laurel. Oh. <laughs> Just so many. Can... <laughs> How did she get back here? Isn't she with Weems? Can't throw out wild accusations without consequences. They may be wild, but they're true. Tyler told me everything. I've eliminated everyone else that I'm suspicious of. Oh, that's Tyler. Weems. That's Weems. Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. Now what Tyler didn't realize is that the truth wouldn't free him. It would enslave him to you. And that was scary at first. I used the cave and the shackles. Is this all true? It has to be. This has to be the truth. Ugh, that's enough. Tyler, honey, make Mama <sighs> happy and shut her up. Oh. He's not on your side. Tyler will do anything. Yeah, okay. Me. Yeah. Well, that is Principal Weems. If you only hate outcasts, why is he killing normies as well? They're just pawns in a bigger game. Just like you, Wednesday. Once again, you've underestimated the situation. It's Weems. It's Weems. Heard enough? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, you have been caught. Please don't make this more difficult than what already is, Marilyn. What is she capable of? My name is <laughs> Oh, bad reactions that's nice, there. That's nightshade poisoning. She didn't even move. <laughs> <laughs> she just took it. <laughs> like she got stoned by Ajax <laughs> or something. She's just dead, huh? Oh no. No, dude, no. Oh god. There's She's no dead. Way. There's no way. I mean, she starts turning blue. A fitting end, don't you think? Oh my god! Bro, how did we let this happen? How did Hot we let thing. this happen? What? Who let the Elid out? Oh! oh whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Things gonna come here, huh? Gonna interrupt. Whoa. Whoa. That's longer than before. Is she about to wolf out? It is a full blood moon. I'm okay. I think. But this is helping. I would love to see a monster battle with the hide and then Enid wolfed out. That'd be sick. Principal Weems and her went and confronted Miss Thornhill, but I haven't heard a peep from either of them. Why would they confront Miss Thornhill? Because she's behind everything that's happened. But Ajax and I will go check out the conservatory. What's he doing in your room? He is a crush on her. Oh. Enid, what the hell is going on? What about Wednesday? Tyler and Thornhill took her? Where? Oh no, underground? Oh, the crypt. Who 
of the nightshades. Uh oh. I'll I'll explain on the way. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? Oh my god, dude. We gotta get everybody here to help. I've gotta go. Wednesday's my only friend, and if she's in trouble, I've gotta help her. Weems is dead. I like Eugene. Yeah. He's one of my favorites. Zenid gonna have an absolute oh, moment. Dude, I need her to wolf out. That'll be so good. Where's the werewolf Where in the it? closet? I can't believe Weems got poisoned. I don't, I just, I don't, I cannot believe she's dead. I refuse I to believe it. I can't believe she didn't move to believe it. and took it right in the neck. Uh-oh. Damn, dude, I was rooting for you. Nah, he was sus from day one. I always said he was. I have to admit, that shape-shifting stunt with Weems almost worked. As my father always said, if you want to outsmart an outcast, you gotta outthink him. Oh, she's the ball of the body parts. Mm-hmm. She's making a Frankenstein. Or she's making Joseph Crackstone, I think. Yeah, I think. They're in his crypt right now. Throughout the centuries, my family has remained committed to Crackstone's mission. My brother died serving that cause. Your brother was crazy. You're crazy. You can't wake the dead. Believe me, I've tried. I believe your ancestor, Goody Adams, Oh, is that the OG copy of that book? Yeah. What does all of this have to do with me? My dear Wednesday, you are the key. They told her. Goody sealed Crackstone in his sarcophagus. Oh, and they need Wednesday's blood. Oh, Only one no. of her direct descendants can open it. They wouldn't have been able to do any of this if Wednesday wasn't here, like Xavier said. Something's going on at Nevermore. Okay, get a couple cars over there ASAP. That's the skin I can. The tires and all the squad cars have been slashed. Every damn one of them. What? That means we have to go. Like, Tyler probably did why that is, shit. Why is Xavier in the backseat? I don't know. I think they were taking him somewhere else. Probably to prison. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh, she's, she's opening it. She's the key. We needed her blood. There's a Joseph Crackstone. Wednesday, can you get out of this? Oh yeah, that that would be like her to have that in her boot for sure. Got the old multi tool. Oh no. Oh no, not the arcane power. We're summoning it. Edward Elric. Is Edward Elric in this room? Alchemy. Uh oh. This does look like some Frankenstein yeah, shit. Yeah, big time. This motherfucker's gonna come out of here, bro. He's gonna come out looking like young as hell or yeah, some shit. looking like normal. It is I, Joseph Crackstone. <laughs> and then he's gonna have Let to- Let us go conquer fight Pilgrim Wednesday. World. Whoa, he doesn't look fresh. No. I am of your blood. He actually looks I wild. You I think he's gonna kill her. Once and for all. What would you say? I just woke up. Kiss my ring. My will be oh no. Ugh, it looks like Emperor Palpatine. Oh my. Joseph Crackstone got the magic. Oh! oh! Wednesday got stabbed? Oh! oh that's bad. He that's bad. It. Thornhill. He's walking on them. Alright, Wednesday just actually just got stabbed. And twisted. Stabbed and twisted. This is not good. We need the nightshades to actually do something, bro. We have to get everyone in the school to safety before it's too late. Because this is what's coming. So do we pull the fire alarms? We don't want to cause a panic. Our first lines of the whole season. Yeah, literally. I'm the guy who swims and breaks Cheats. everything. Thing and I will go look for Wednesday. Hey. Okay. Nightshades forever. Nightshades forever. Did Thing Seriously? clap? Yeah. A secret snap too. <laughs> Is Thing a nightshade? <laughs> he's just playing. He's just playing. <laughs> On her he, he's dead. playing. Oh. She's dead. Another oh, another Goody's stab. coming. Goody's Goody. coming. Crackstone must be stabbed through his black heart. It is the only way he will be vanquished now and forever. Your necklace. It is a powerful talisman. A WM. 
mother told me it was for conjuring visions. It is also a conduit for conjuring spirits. It will allow me to pass through you and heal you. Oh, oh wow, that'll be crazy. You will never see me again. The school needs you and stay. Oh, that's pretty lucky, huh? She's just gonna get Ooh. healed. Oh. All right, Goody, do your thing. You're a witch, Goody. <laughs> You're a witch, Goody. Make Wednesday whole again. If not, juice her up a bit, too. Yeah, give her some, you know, make her a little bit better. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> All right, Goody's gone forever. Hey. Everything's healed. Here is Galpin. He's gonna be like, my son's a monster. What's happening? Why are we stopping in the middle of the woods? To we're trace my kid. You shut, it. you shut it. I feel like he's gonna die. Hey, wait. Wait. Hey! What he's gonna me? save someone. What if Galpin accidentally kills his son because he kills the monster? Oh. Or vice versa. Accidentally kills his dad. I think Enid might go, uh... She's definitely gonna whoop out, right? Yeah, they keep showing the new, the, the freaking moon, bro. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. She's oh. wolfing out. She's wolfing out. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's happening. <laughs> oh, she's wolfing out, bro. What if they think she's the monster? Oh. I don't think they will. She does not look like the monster. She's a it, wolf. I oh. mean, and they know it's a school full of werewolves. And oh. Stuff. Here's that little shithead. This will not end well for you. Beat his ass Wednesday. Oh, no. Dude, Enid's going to come save her. Please. 100%. Enid. Enid's going to be a big ass wolf. Tyler. <laughs> oh, oh no. Wednesday. How is that not kill her? Oh, yeah. oh, let's go, Enid! Oh Holy my god! Shit. Look at her colorful hair! Enid? Oh, be oh, careful! Watch behind you. Oh. oh I swear sick. to God, if something happens to Enid, bro. I love her hair, bro. I love that it's still colorful. Joseph Crackstone. This is where I fight Wednesday. Damn. Oh my God, he he switched his tone real quick, bro. He got where he needed to be. He is not fucking with her anymore. She said, "Never meet your heroes." He is creepy. I love how he sounds. He looks like Palpatine. There it is, the fire tree thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <Thing>. <laughs> He's so pumped. He's like, Thing's gonna come save me. I'd be pumped to see Thing too. Oh, I mean, it's her first time wolfing out. Dude. Oh, shit. Leaving it alone. Leaving it alone. Oh, oh. Oh, he knows. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, he didn't get his ass. That is a creepy. Oh, oh my God. He just drop kicked him. You've done enough, Enid. You can oh, look at down. him. He's butt naked. Dude, Enid popped off. Oh, you did great, Enid. That was awesome. That was more than we could have ever asked. That was like the, one of the her. best parts of the show. That was so cool. Oh, that's, that's the sword that her dad had. Yeah, yeah. That Morticia used to kill Garrett Gates. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. He looks so ridiculous. How can thy heart still beat? Through his black heart. 
<laughs> He's gonna Savior. die, huh? Oh no! Oh, right back at him! No! Right back at him! Oh, she took it for him! Oh god! Get them out of here! Now! Does that not hurt? I mean, it was in the shoulder, right? She's not gonna cry. He is creepy. He can like block. Like, it's like you can't hit him. He's like yeah, he's a sorcerer, telekinesis or something. Actual duel. Oh, be gone. Hat. She has to go to the heart. Yep. Oh. Wow, no. dude. No way it broke that sword. Oh. Oh. Who's gonna who? Who's gonna do who? I don't know. Thing. I don't like the look of this. Please stop. Please stop. Someone save her. Through the heart. Xavier? Thing? Bianca. Bianca. What? Oh, I, Yo. She might, he might get her, dude. Oh. Oh. Twist that shit. Oh, yeah. Dude, you are a joke. Dude, you got stone suck. He came back for like 10 minutes. He was creepy though. Oh. Wow. There's his ring. Take that, bro. You pawn that off or something. I did not think that was going to be Bianca. That was did, sick, dude. You did a good job. That was so cool. Galpin? Thornhill. Ah. You brought a gun to a sword fight. I hope Weems shows up and he's dead. I don't believe it, bro. I bet Weems is gonna be like, I am immune to nightshade poisoning. To kill you Maybe on no. Eugene. Oh my God. Eugene, the bees, the bees. Oh, that's what? so cool. He's controlling the bees. Wait, how does he do that? Because he's he the bee master. The bees listen to Eugene. Wow, that would be crazy. Oh, she's going to look oh, gross. Oh, that's so horrible. She's going to look gross after the... the... Yeah, that's what you get for messing with Nevermore. Oh, that's so cool, Eugene. <laughs> bitch. Yeah, <laughs> 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 bitch. I'll take it from you. Oh. Maybe we should call the sheriff? Nope. Turn around, Eugene. Oh, my God. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. She deserved worse. That wasn't that bad. Yeah. Oh, she a werewolf? No. Dude, she was so cool. She was definitely my favorite this that episode. That was awesome. Oh. She's covered in blood. Who's Wednesday? Uh oh. There she is. With Her, the B -man. Eugene, and Bianca. Dude, Enid fucked up Tyler. I know she <laughs> beat his ass. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Uh -oh. I wanted them to hug. Let's go. That's what I wanted to see. A hug. Oh, yeah, I just realized they are hugging, huh? Mm -hmm. That's like... Uh... This is honestly almost making me tear up. I love it. I love their friendship. I might cry. <laughs> Hello. That's uh, the, the driver. Lurth or whatever. Is Lurch. Dead? Lurch. I mean, I think Weems is dead. Yeah. Maybe they'll show her at the end. I don't know. But surely it's just something. Like, what's going on here? I'm just going to look Who good. would be the new principal then? Maybe Imagine Enid. Morticia becomes principal. Wednesday the becomes. novel is over. Where Question. is it? Question. Maybe that's why people were like, is there a second season? Well, there is. I know, but. It's confirmed. It wasn't oh. when it came out. <laughs> She's not here. That's kind of sad. He was always yelling at her, though. I liked oh? Weems a lot, though. I thought Weems was awesome. I hate to admit, but I am going to miss Principal Weems. She could be a real pain, but she was tough. And she died for the one thing she truly loved, this school. For that, I have immense respect. Respect, Weems. I just feel like she could have put up more of a fight. Not a fighter, apparently. <laughs> just not absolutely no movement. Bianca. 
I owe you a thank you. We're getting that Fenton title next year. So don't let killing one supernatural pilgrim get to your head. Okay. But Bianca won't be here next year. Yeah, you're true. And there's her new lover. I wish it was Eugene, though. Her and Eugene are just besties, bro. Eugene, he, he, Eugene likes Enid. Enid, like, Ajax is a good guy, though. Or is he? Season two, <laughs> Ajax is the killer. <laughs> he, Ajax is the monster. Ajax turns into Medusa. He's already there. I owe you an apology. Give me a kiss. Does this end in a kiss, Bryce, or no? Nope. No, nope. no shot. Being your friend should come with a warning label, but I don't know a lot of people who would take an arrow for me, so... What did he get her, boys? Century, oh, a phone. Is it a cell phone? Yeah, it's a phone. Nice, dude. My number's in there already. That's a bold move. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Xavier. Oh, why did I think that was going to end in the kiss? You going to be back next semester? Oh, she'll be back. Wednesday, Adam. Adams shall return. Yeah, dude, they could do like unlimited seasons of this show. Mm -hmm. High school lasts four years. I don't know, man. <laughs> I do. This new character's coming in like Degrassi. That would be terrible. Uh-oh. Oh, what? Oh, who texted oh, that, her? That's... Oh, wait, no, his number's already yeah. in there. Who could this be? Oh, no. Okay, dude. <laughs> My very first stalker. Maybe this forced vacation will be more interesting than I imagined. Secrets are still lurking in the dark corners of Jericho. That's an armed cop. Tyler. What the hell? Will today's stalker become tomorrow's nemesis? What? I know the suspense is killing you. Season one is in the wraps of Wednesday, guys. I, I really, really like that. And I think that probably was the best episode. Or close to the best. I think the last episode was pretty good too, but I just think it was the best because of Enid. Enid was so. Wow, oh, cool. was that awesome? She finally she woofed. She came out. She woofed out, and she absolutely. I feel like Tyler, being a hide for as long as he was, was absolutely getting shit on by Enid's first time being a woof. Like, kind of embarrassing. Kind of cool. Uh, I thought she looked awesome with her hair and everything, and hopefully she. I mean, she'll probably woof out more in the future because we do know there is a future, season two. Uh, stay tuned for us. We're going to be back with that. I'm kind of lost with the whole Tyler being a hide situation with... I keep forgetting that. Thornhill? Thornhill, yeah. Laurel Gates. Laurel Gates, yeah. So, was he just aware of everything he was doing? Like, that's the way it seemed to he me said at the end. It, like, like, sort of started coming to him. He didn't know at first. I think they said that she like showed him what his mother was and like ex showed him his true self and once she did that she kind of like put like a spell on him and like he, he was like just like a slave to her like they said like he would follow what she said to me it, i don't know it just like felt like all that shit he was saying to wednesday just felt personal as hell like he wanted to say that i don't know it was i i, I didn't really understand how much of that was him and how much of that was just him being manipulated he was definitely with the scumbag at the end of the day Man, I was I was so sus of him, and then I liked him, and I didn't like Xavier, and then it just like went back and forth. Yeah, and then it's like, wow, he is the bad guy. Xavier's that guy. At the Team end of the Xavier day. for sure. Yeah. But, but to be fair, I think we were pretty sus on Thornhill the whole time because she was just so random. She didn't do anything. Yeah, she had actually no other significance other than potentially being a bad guy. That was really her own her only point of being in the show it seemed yeah and she freaking killed weems rip weems that's crazy that weems won't be in the next season like, i know i love gwendolyn christie like that's that's gonna be a huge loss and really she'll be in like in the like maybe like flashbacks yeah. or something but she'll be there but, for the cast but let's be real boys they brought back a dude from fucking 400 years ago or something this episode maybe they could bring her back somehow maybe, <laughs> like, i don't know and also like opens the doorway to introduce maybe like a new principal which i could very much see happening um, i don't know if there's any teachers that we really know at this school the only one we knew is like thornhill it's gonna be an adams i think it might be like a uncle fester is the new principal that'd be <laughs> really cool <laughs> there's just no way that that would happen he is a con man i would definitely vote for that though maybe the sheriff i think principal. i think 
uh, Nevermore would actually burn down if Uncle Fester was the principal. So who do you guys think the stalker was there at the end of us texting her? Who would just I have, have no her idea? Number like Maybe that? Eugene. Is that who, who the who the hell could just? All right, first of all, does has never had a phone. Xavier gets her a phone, and somehow someone gets that phone number. Yeah. Like right away, the day it happened. Like what? How is that happening? Who could it be out of everyone that we like, out of people that we know? Because it has to be someone we Bianca, know, right? Or, maybe Bianca's mother. I don't think she's back to pick up Bianca, and like she knows Bianca's been involved with this stuff. Now she's watching Wednesday. I don't know. Maybe. Also, I feel like since it's a show, it might not be like realistic. But they sent like a personalized GIF of her. Like, who could? Ma I feel like someone would have had to make that, right? Like, it was Wednesday getting like a axe thrown or like a sure, dagger a thrown who's yeah. savvy with the internet yeah like who can who's an artist besides xavier i think eugene is good at art eugene is not the bad guy eugene's not the bad guy bro he came in clutch with the bees there he did the that was so cool i wish he would have she would have died but that scene at the end of tyler like being chained up in the back of that truck and then like transforming was that real or is that just like what she was kind of imagining could happen oh, no, that was real was it yeah for sure I think that was real, but I think that the, the reason he was in a truck like that was to handle the transformation. So I, I still I don't think he's going anywhere. I don't think he's going to break out of that. I wonder what his dad thinks, bro. He's I'm probably gonna... crushed, bro. He's probably actually crushed. I feel like Tyler was the only person in his family, even though he wasn't really involved in Tyler's life a whole lot. I mean, it's still his son. He definitely still cared about him. But yeah, I can see Sheriff Galpin being totally crushed by this. Yeah. I mean, I think he will be a little less crushed, though, since Tyler did survive. But he is a he's a monster, an actual hide. I think he'll be a little less crushed, knowing that he could maybe stop in and see his hide son sometimes. I just don't know what happens if, like, the master's gone or, like, Thornhill, like, if she can't tell him what to do, can he, does he have free will to do whatever he wants? Like, can he transform? I don't know. I mean, I feel like he's been transforming on his own every time. Like, the first time we saw him with right in front of Wednesday, it was on his own, and then certainly Thornhill didn't tell him to transform in that truck at the end. You know, like, I think he might be doing it on his own. Yeah, I'm honestly leaning more towards the side that he just eventually was just like oh yeah I, i'm just hot i can just do this and then kind of accepted it i don't know it's drawn with emotion though so a lot of emotion all right guys i'll tell mine last but who are your favorite character or who was your favorite character besides wednesday this season oh man besides wednesday mm -hmm. that was my answer wednesday's my favorite character you have to say besides the actual name of the show name character it has to be someone else besides wednesday Eugene, Enid, and Thing. Those are my top three. Oh, yeah. I'd probably have to say Thing for sure, yeah. to be honest. I think, honestly, mine is Enid. I am big team She-Wolf. Uh, I think she was my fa favorite character overall, even over Wednesday. I think she was just awesome. An awesome presence every time she was on the camera. I'm also going to shout out Morticia. I think she's yeah. awesome. Like, finding out she's the one that killed Garrett Gates was, like, a crazy twist. And... I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of like the whole PDA that they showed no. to each other. Like, I wasn't the huge uh, Gomez fan either, really. But yeah, I thought Morticia was really cool. I liked Pugsley a lot. Yeah, I wish he had more time. Mm -hmm. I thought screen. Gomez was pretty cool. Just a little creepy to me. I, don't <laughs> know. I mean, he's definitely a horn dog. I liked Eugene a lot, man. Eugene was yeah. the man. He was just a nice guy. He, he was. Just he was all about the hubbers. Cared about the bees, bro. All about the hubbers. He was way more relevant than I thought he was going to be. Mm -hmm. Dude, his ability where he could just like control the bees like that and make them attack people. No wonder the bees crazy. like him so that is, much. That is so, so cool. I wonder what his actual like title is, like his label or what his uniqueness, yeah. what makes him a uh, outcast. I wonder if he's like uh, Coda from My Hero Academia. So what do we expect for season two? What's going to happen? It's probably going to be a new story. It can't be about Tyler. And it has to be next semester or whatever, like yeah. after this break. Like, They're definitely leaving. Yeah, I think, um, did Wednesday come to Nevermore in the middle of the school year? Yeah. So, okay, next year will be, or next semester will be the following school year. So they're going on like summer vacation or whatever. Yeah. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I, I really wanted everything to, or like the monster storyline to sort of wrap up here. And I'm, I'm glad it did because I really wanted to get like a new story or like new dilemma going into season two. And I think they introduced it a little bit with like this whole new stalker scenario. And Wednesday said it a little bit in like the narration that like maybe Tyler and Thornhill 
weren't like the masters behind all this maybe like there was someone pulling their strings too which is an interesting idea that like this could be a lot deeper than what they think it is i don't know how though because i feel like it was all wrapped around joseph craxton what can go deeper than a guy that like who knows bro? stole the land and killed people like hundreds of years ago i don't know speaking of craxton he was actually pretty spooky i think he was a uh what's the word a letdown or something disappointment like a disappointment underwhelming underwhelming is I mean, the word they really didn't they really couldn't do too much i for them. I, I thought he was gonna accomplish a little bit more i kind of low-key wanted him to like kill someone that would have been funny like i, I, I honestly I, thought he was funnier more than he was like intimidating like the way he talked was, was a bit scared, silly and he scared the shit out of me like i thought he was gonna shoot that arrow back at xavier and hit him with it like i feel like that would have been kind of like fitting is he i don't know but, yeah yeah but yeah it's just like now after seeing him and like him having like the power of like whatever he had like a great power and then just going to ooh, there's a stalker now <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah hopefully true. they have some type of crazy power because like i feel like if it's just gonna be a normal not a normie per se but like someone that has like similar abilities to everyone at the school it's kind of gonna be like a, a step down in the i'm sure they're na they know what they're doing oh i'm sure yeah i think it might be interesting next season to get introduced to like the new uh freshman or so i forget which year they are but the is she a freshman i don't know because she turned 16. i feel like she had been to high school before like it, this wasn't her first high school yeah i, I honestly i mean she just turned 16 i'm pretty sure this this season i, I i'm guessing that would be like a sophomore then right right yeah so there's probably either way gonna be more kids coming in below them. definitely definitely so new principal too that should be exciting yeah i wonder how they find it it's, i mean hopefully bianca comes back too yeah she, i feel like the whole story actually, with her mom kind of fell through yeah she they, was like it didn't it didn't really follow up on it a whole lot i hope that that was just because they were setting it up for hopefully like season two maybe that's a bigger plot line season two well because she was like you have until the weekend and then i'm taking you and then i don't really think anything ever happened said, i feel like this all happened within like a couple of nights though like it's, I don't it know. hasn't been longer than a week for sure well she said give me to the end of the school year oh yeah and then she came oh to yeah 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 that's true that's true and now it is the end of the school year so potentially bianca won't be coming back i hope she does because she honestly became really cool at the yeah. end i actually really started to like her like second half of the season it was cool to see her use her siren song ability as well. Mm -hmm. That shit is super strong. You can just manipulate people, control them. I liked her and Lucas together too. Yeah, her and Lucas were cool. I'm not sure if Lucas is going to be relevant next season. Like, he didn't really do anything for me this season to, like, prove that he's, like, a important character. And especially now that, like, his dad's dead, I feel like not really a huge, huge reason to keep him around. But... I mean, he was cool in the episodes that he was in, except for when he destroyed the dance. That was kind of shitty. I'm honestly really surprised that we, I feel like there was so little of like the students actually like using their abilities this season. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that was the first time we saw a werewolf when we saw Enid. I think it was, honestly. Like, you'd think like maybe we'd- I feel like the, the reason though was because they wanted like seeing Enid as a wolf to be like that much more of an yeah. impact. And it was, it was, because it was like, it was the first time seeing Enid transform and the first time we ever saw anyone transform into a werewolf. So I feel like it might have taken away like the, yeah. the effect if like we had already seen a transformation before. But I am surprised that we didn't because like Enid said, this school is full of vampires, werewolves, yeah. all kinds of things. Like, didn't see a single vampire, I don't think. Not one. And it took till this episode to see Bianca use her siren song. Yeah. You so, saw Ajax stone himself, though. Yeah. But I want to see more of that in season two, though. It's very interesting. I like Ajax. I do. Yeah, this show was probably one of my more favorable shows we've watched on the channel. I really enjoyed it. It's right up my alley. I like the mystery stuff. I like the crime. I like the killing. And I like the like the crazy animals and monsters going to a school. It gave me Harry Potter vibes. So... I really, really enjoy this. And Jenna Ortega obviously is awesome. And I thought this was one of my, I'd probably say top five show we watch on the channel for sure. Yeah, I really liked it too. It was, it was super cute. I think my favorite part about it was definitely Jenna Ortega as Wednesday. I think she just rushed it. Like I, I, I've seen her in other things before this and now like I can't unsee her as Wednesday Adams. And like, since I've never seen anything 
Adam's family related before, I will permanently like always imagine Wednesday as Jenna Ortega. Yeah. Like I'm fully associating her with this this role now. She was for sure my favorite part. I'm excited to see more of her in season two. I'm also excited to see more of like the other characters I really liked, like Enid and Eugene. Mm -hmm. I hope they come back and do a lot more cool stuff because I really like them too. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy that the show's getting a second season. I think it definitely deserves one. I definitely think that they can do a whole lot more with the second season. And I can see like that being bigger and them going like more places because I feel like this one was sort of like we were in the town and we were in Nevermore. And I could see like in future seasons or something like that, them branching out maybe, like making it a bigger universe, like letting us see more of the world. Like I'd love to see the Adams Family house. That'd be crazy if like Enid and Wednesday went back to the Adams house one episode. And like, can you imagine the culture shock Enid would have? Like the, the house is probably all black. That, I don't know. Stuff yeah. like that I would love to see in a season two. I could see that too because this was the number one w most watched English show, so I think the budget went up a little bit. So yeah, definitely. season two, I'm sure, is going to go beyond what we can imagine and have some crazy, like you said, different settings and, and CGI, more CGI, more special effects, stuff like that. More big actors, maybe? <laughs> maybe, big, yeah. Big characters? I don't, like we said at the beginning, we don't, at least Rob and I don't really know too much about the Adams family going into this so I don't know how many more family members there are I, I was aware there was an Uncle Fester so they, mm -hmm. they introduced him so I don't know maybe they'll uh, bring in some new students that are notable people or the principal I could see the principal being someone like that's what I mean yeah that's the big thing that I like if Weems died that opens the door for like new big new character like this is a big actor that is known and he's playing a new character Imagine she's playing a new character new principles andrew lincoln that'd be so cool random shout but that would be in that would be crazy actually so cool he's super random but yeah thank you guys again so much for watching along with us we really really enjoyed this show appreciate everyone that recommended it hopefully you guys did enjoy our reaction um, but if you guys did make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe check out the links in our description the first one's going to be our patreon we have the full uncut reactions to every episode of wednesday up on there as well as every other show that we watch so make sure to check that out the second link is going to be our discord come join that talk to us about wednesday we got a wednesday chat in there we can talk about theories for season two favorite moments from season one we got a really really cool community so stop by and join that and lastly we have our social medias down there our instagrams and our twitters so make sure to follow those and at the very bottom of the description is the address to our po box send us something to be open up on our series mail time like everything you see behind us right now but yeah that's pretty much it for wednesday season one we'll catch you guys next time for wednesday season two peace out